Hi, I'm Mandy Pryor and welcome to the Southwestern PA Business Podcast. Today we have a great episode where we'll be talking with Nick and Ashley about DJ's Barbecue as well as some other things that are coming up at the Chamber of Commerce. So let's stay tuned for this episode of the Southwestern PA Business Podcast. All right, Nick and Ashley, thanks so much for coming on today. Thanks, thanks for having, having us. us. Now, we're just here today to make fun of Nick, and I guess we'll talk about DJ's Barbecue, too. That works. So, Nick, yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself. Now, you sit on the board of directors for the Chamber of Commerce, so I've known you a very long time, and you're in this new role over yeah. DJ's Barbecue, which is exciting. So, let me know a little bit about you and your work with the board and anything you want to share. Well, thanks for that introduction. Uh, she said it all. No, um, so I'm Nick Shoshelsky. Yeah, I'm local to Bridgeville. Been there for 30-some years. Um, wanted to get active in our community a few years ago, and Mandy saw some of the things I was doing while I was on the, um, Bridgeville's Borough Council, as well as the other businesses I was at, and offered me the opportunity to sit on the board, and I was thrilled to do so. And with through that, we've been able to do a lot of really exciting things with our Excellence Awards, as well as help build businesses, build their assets, which to me, and to you as well, it seems like are our staff members, are the people in our community. They're the biggest assets we have to help build our businesses, build our communities, is using the people in our community members as well to do so. And um, I've been blessed enough to be put in a location now in Collier Township at the DJ's Rib House that I can still give back to both Collier and Bridgeville now, and that's exciting for me. That's great. Yeah. And the chamber covers both Collier and Bridgeville as well as many other communities. Yeah. So it's nice you're able to help across, you know, two different, a township and a borough side yeah. by side. So I think technically, I think technically speaking, the Bridgeville borough, or I mean the Chamber of Commerce building, the front is in Collier, mm -hmm. but the back is in Bridgeville. Yep. So it's interesting. It's, a, it's like you planned it that way. I planned it that way, yeah. It's that, that way I can, you know, be on this side of the bridge, on this side of the bridge. It's not really the Mississippi River, but, I wouldn't you know, Chartier's Creek. There. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. go swimming in there either. But I wouldn't go swimming in there. It's a great opportunity, you know. Two great communities um, doing a lot of really cool things. Uh, I know they're looking to do a lot of really cool things on Washington Pike as well um, with Collier Township and Bridgeville. You know, it's, uh, it's nice, the tra transactions from one side of the town to the other, the other side. You know, we get to see so many other businesses starting to work together and thrive together, and that's the goal. The goal is that we start building the communities with the businesses, and uh, seeing that DJs has the opportunity to do that now and be community-oriented. We have a lot of really fun activities we got planned for the upcoming months um, that are just very community-oriented, especially with Collier and Bridgeville. So we're excited and we're looking forward to that. Then we've got some really cool, crazy things going on that we're hoping to launch here. Sometime May, maybe June, uh, we've got a food truck over at DJ's. Food truck? Food truck, yeah. All right. And if you're getting ready for your spring, if you're getting ready for your wedding, your summer events, your college graduation parties, high school graduation parties, we have a uh, collective catering now, which is really something. This, this young lady over here can tell you all about that a little bit later. <laughs> but um, it's phenomenal. You know, anything you can think of, anything you, you, your mouth can imagine, we can get, get there and deliver it to you and make sure you're enjoying the festivities and enjoying the food. It's nice. We're going to be outside here soon, and the weather's going to be great. I mean, today. It's supposed to be. Not yeah. to date the show. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a, a great spring. And, yeah, um, yeah. so what about in-house DJs? So tell me a little bit of background on DJs and why you think it's just the best place to eat in town. To be honest with you, I love DJs. Um, I've known, known about DJs since I was in high school back in the day. I actually would travel from Bridgeville all the way out to Weirton, West Virginia. Um, DJ's has been around since 1980. Um, they started a small store down in Weirton, and what they did is they just couldn't stop gaining business. They became a staple of their community, and within the 20 years they were at that location, they just couldn't stop growing. So they moved to a newer location, uh, a little bit down the road, um, and now we're actually getting ready to celebrate the 20th anniversary of that location on April 1st. So on wow. April 1st, the 20th look uh, at Three Amigos Drive um, in Weirton, they're going to be celebrating, what did I say, th Three Amigos, Three Springs. Uh, <laughs> well, thinking about that movie, you know, sorry. Um, but so the, all the prices from 20 years ago are going to be the same price for April 1st. It's a nice way Ooh, to sell. Yeah. that's fun. Really, so if at you your Washington chance, location, too? Just at our Weirton location. Just at the Weirton yeah, location. Just the Weirton so we're location. all going to West Virginia. We're all going to West Virginia on April 1st, and all you know right. it's not a joke. 
No, no joke. No it's joke. Not that far. Yeah, so great product. Um, you know, the ownership there, Dewey, originally was phenomenal. He had a great vision for doing amazing barbecue. And now we've been able to stem out into the, the area. You know, we're, we're, at Collier. we're here at Collier. We have Racetrack Road. We have um, Murraysville, Wexford. You know, we're just continually blossoming into just being known for and synonymous with great barbecue, great food, great atmosphere, great service. And that's something that I'm, I'm really happy to be a part of and work towards. I know we just updated our menu. We added um, some beef, roast beef sandwiches, which are phenomenal. So if you haven't had the roast beef on WEC yet, get a chance. I have not had the roast Favorite. beef on WEC yet. Yes, so good. It, it's <laughs> so good. You throw the kosher salt on there, the caraway seeds on that wonderful bun. It just, it's phenomenal. Um, and we added some wings, changed our happy hour a bit. You know, now we're doing Tuesday through Friday, four to six, Saturday, Sunday, 12 to two looking to maybe add in some fun entertainment in there, you know, always looking for more staff, always looking for friendly faces to make our service better at all of our locations. So we're really excited about that. You know, we always push and try to be better. Always and trying you, to learn. And in the Collier location, you have that great little event space in there too. We have a phenomenal little event space. So we have a, a little room right off side of our main dining area that seats about 40 to 50 people comfortably. But what's nice about it, when it gets beautiful outside during that springtime, during that summer, we have a garage door right there. We just Raise wham, those up. throw that right up. Leads into about another six table section, holds about another 30, 40 people comfortably. But we also have our outdoor bar. So uh, once we get to throw up that garage door, we're going to be doing that as well soon. Uh, I know on Friday the 12th, April 12th, 4 12th day, we're going to have a little bit of a Yinzer patio party. Come dress as your favorite Yinzer. Uh, give you an opportunity so to. So I can dress uh, like you? Yes. Am I, am I saying worse than that and all that? I don't know. <laughs> Dan Tan. Go down there. Uh, down there. Down, down in Bridgeville. Down in Bridgeville. Get um, yourself a real nice yeah, barbecue so gonna, sandwich. <laughs> beef on Weck. Beef on Weck is so good. Uh, it really is. Even, oh, everything's so phenomenal there. Uh, but realistically, we're, we're going to be doing that 4 on 2 party with um, Pittsburgh Brewing Company. Um, going to be doing different things. We'll have Pittsburgh style trivia, DJ during the day. Little fun things. We're going to start doing a little more kitschy fun things to get people in there. Let them know that we care about the community. We're going to be doing Dine to Donates. So if you have a, something you're involved in that you want, want us to be involved in. Um, I know we're working a lot with Collier and their sports rec groups. Hopefully we can work a little bit with local nonprofits and local and nonprofits and help build them up as well. I know we've already donated some food the other day to 412 Food Rescue. Anything we can do to help build our community and just make sure people know, not only want to give you great ribs and great service, want to make you know that we care. That's important to us. Great. So, yeah. And Ashley, what's your role in this whole madness of barbecue? So um, I am the director of catering um, and events. So with Collective Brands, that is a newer catering company that we kind of um, it derived in last September. So about seven months. So DJ's is one of our restaurants that I am a part of. Um, we have a total of five. And so what we did was we took all five of those restaurants and we put them onto, under one umbrella to be called Collective Brands Catering. So DJ's Barbecue, Ribs and Grill is one. Um, down in Cannonsburg, we have Toscana Brick Oven and Nate's Chop House. And then we have North Park Lounge out in Murraysville and then Andorra, um, which is out in Swickley. So um, having the variety of all of those restaurants, we really are able to cater to anyone for any type of cuisine. Wow, and how long have you been in that role? Um, seven months. Seven months? Yep, seven and months, seven months. And how did you both get into the, the restaurant life, you know, giving great food to people? You know, what makes you enthusiastic about what you do? So I've been in the hospitality industry for 18 years now. And forever. Forever. <laughs> um, I started out with um, planning events and doing um, wedding planning. And so now I'm in the restaurant catering world, so it's much different. Um, still able to do events. We have locations uh, up in Warrendale that will host events. Um, but I just, it's my passion to bring great memories to events and help like bring everyone's vision to life. And so now I'm doing it with food for the most part. Well, that's good. I mean, what about you, Nick? I love people. Um... And one way to get to a person's heart is through their belly. So, That's true. Yeah. Give them good ribs. Give them good ribs. <laughs> give them great food, and they're going to be happy. And that's what drew me to this location, drew me to this job, was <clears throat> I knew they had a wonderful product. I knew, um, I knew the, the food was phenomenal. I love the location. Um, for me, it's all about those things. 
you know, being, having the right people and serve the right people and they'll serve you back. You know, it's, they fill your heart just as much as you fill their bellies. And that's, that's, that's the best thing for me. You know, it's, um, don't know where it's going to lead, but it's awesome. It's a great journey. You know, you get ribs this week, you get, uh, you get the salmon dinner the next week. It's very good. Oh yeah. Crispy chicken sandwich. Beats barbecue everybody shrimp. else. The barbecue shrimp. Oh, so bread. good. Spoon yeah, bread. we could go on. Everyone. You guys are both making me hungry. Yeah, no, I'm hungry now. I should have brought you food. I was like, wait, is there food here? I didn't bring here? I brought I you a hat. Cards. You can go. I brought you a hat. You're always I brought hungry. You, brought you a beer koozie, a DJ's beer koozie. Ooh, look at that. I got you a nice hat. Um, we'll get you a gift card to come in and visit us. But uh, Wait, there's a hat, too. Oh, When's yeah, your birthday? What month is your birthday? Boy, that's the big one. May 28th. May it's coming up? It's coming oh, up. yeah. We've got a How's birthday wheel. Look? It's going to be May. Red my color. It looks great on you. Thanks. And your outfit. Yeah, it I'm going to have like a barbecue eating contest now <laughs> with my red hat on. Don't tempt us. <laughs> there should be. Don't tempt us. Yeah, no. Uh, the great thing about your birthday coming up is you can come in the day of, the day before, or the day after your birthday. If you're a Rip Rewards member, which is a really great offer you have, if you sign up for a rewards program, you get bonus rewards, points all the time, free deals. But uh, if you come in on that, those days, you get to spin the birthday wheel. What? Yeah. The birthday uh, wheel. Oh, yeah. Is there singing? Do you guys sing? I will sing whatever you want me to. Nick will sing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, he's like, I will not sing. <laughs> but Nick will But sing. yeah, no. Um, give it a spin on your birthday. You actually get a chance to win a trip to the Bahamas, the grand prize. So yeah. So all Has the anyone won the Bahamas trip so, so far? So you land on the grand prize. Everybody gets a chance to win the grand prize. So anybody who lands on the grand prize will get a $15 gift card right away. Then we're going to invite everybody back later in the year. And we're going to do a big spinoff, essentially. And then one like person from the, the grand prize spinoffs, and they'll win. One person from that party is going to win a trip to the Bahamas for two. So that's pretty cool. I want to go to the Bahamas. I was told I wasn't allowed to spin. But yeah, no, I want to go to the Bahamas, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm so sorry. But yeah, so birthday's right around the corner. You definitely need to stop up, bring that gift card. I'm going to get you take care of that. Good. And what's your, what's your favorite food on the menu? Mine. Mm. Every time I was going for lunch, it was the barbecue shrimp with a spoon yeah. bread. But now, oh, the beef on weck. Yeah, it's a, it is that it's good. So good. It is that good. <laughs> so uh, good. Horseradish sauce. It's that salt on the it, top. The, I was going to say, it's it the salt that just makes, makes the it. It makes it. It really <laughs> it does. Makes it's, a, it. it's a full combination of everything. For me, it's, it's a toss-up. Honestly, I, I want to say the ribs every time somebody talks to me about it. But um, my go-to, and it could just be the season, has been our salmon dinner um, with the apricot the sauce Lincoln on season, it. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We put that apricot sauce on it with the, the rice, mm. the fresh green beans. I actually get some shrimp on the side, dip into that apricot sauce. It's phenomenal. Um, but no, the ribs hand down, hands down, daily. Yeah. Um, Real. So you just good. smell them wafting out into the front room and you're just like, well, mouth's watering. I should probably eat something. Um, and that's, that's the nice thing. I think you actually burn calories when you're salivating. I don't know if that's true, but, uh, lost sure you do. Yeah. I, I hope so. Because <laughs> I'll go with that. I'm going to go with it because, uh, I feel like I'm just losing weight watching everybody eat all this delicious food. It's so good. I'm like, all right, that's good. You'll just find Nick just sitting there at people's tables. Like, yeah, How's right. your food? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I come up, like, left so how's everything? How, how can I make your day better? <laughs> Do you want me to take that off your plate for you? No, but uh, no, it's phenomenal. Um, everything, everything. The menu's great. Our executive chef, chef is phenomenal. Um, from the top down, the, the company is just really learning and really growing and very intelligent about how they're approaching things. So I appreciate that. Awesome. Anything else, Ashley, that you'd like to share about DJ? Um, we're just really excited about the food truck to yeah. come out early May. Um, we have so many private parties that have already reserved our truck. We have so many community events that have already kind of locked us in. So our calendar is getting so full just, and we announced it like a month ago. A month ago. Um, yeah. So we're really excited about that. So if anybody is looking for something different, um, we encourage you to reach out for the barbecue truck. And then, um, you know, just with like graduations season coming up um, and wedding season coming up, we would love to have the opportunity to cater from collective brands. So you just, it's not all barbecue. We can do vegetable lasagna, a chicken marsala. Oh, yeah. Rat tattooey. <laughs> yeah, so we, our menu is, it's, I mean, it's our menu's mouth watering, so. We, we can bring anything we anywhere can bring to anything anyone. To anyone. Now, I don't know if you know this, but years ago I was brand ambassador. And, you know, 
pays really well, by the way. It's okay. like $25 an hour, just whenever you want. So I was young. Um, but I did, I, I did a food truck. Like I was on a food truck for a while serving out pasta and sauce. So people, you know, I, I feel very enthusiastic about the food truck. It's a fun experience. It's a fun experience for the people who are coming up to it. Like, yeah. And if you're inside there and you're, you're, you know, giving people great food from anywhere, like right. you can't beat that. A restaurant on wheels. Yeah. Like there's nothing really better other than obviously the birthday spinner wheel. You can't go wrong. We're going to yeah. tape that. I'm going to come down and we're going to tape me spinning the wheel. Yes. Definitely. And if I win the trip to Bahamas, I'll tape that whole thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> Send him pictures. Yeah. And we're like, I'm here in the Bahamas, yeah. thanks to DJ's barbecue. Listen, and then you're going to have to... You're supposed to take a board member with you to that, right? No, I'm kidding. <sighs> Give her some of that strawberry shortcake. Strawberry, yeah. To, with a candle in well, it. Well, we got the peanut butter wait, pie now, too. Hold though. up. Hold up. Yeah. You have strawberry shortcake? It's oh, so all good. day, every day. Phenomenal. So good. That's like my favorite. It's our birthday thing. It's That's my favorite. <laughs> I don't know. That and carrot cake. The but pieces are, they're enormous. They're, they're massive. They're like. Is that not, free for my birthday too? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, so I have my birthday plan at DJ's Barbecue. <laughs> we'll make it a party. Ooh, let's mm. have a party. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can make it a happy hour even. Maybe we'll make it an event with the chamber. On the patio. Event with the chamber on the patio. Patio, patio party. Patio party. Mandy mashup. Let's go. I do it every year. I got nothing better to do. Yeah. I don't know if that's sad or not, but. <laughs> But I like I like having bring our own members and I like yeah. us, you know, having a great time at different places. So No, I know. It's it's been some great parties the last few years. Good. Good. Well thank you thank you for being a part of our board and your support. I know he has had to take photos for me on random, he's had to serve food for us on random, he's had to run around for me. He's done so much as a board member. And obviously, you know, he's giving great advice and really supporting me uh, through the board of directors role. And Ashley, thank you so much yes. for coming on to share about catering. Remember that for all of your corporate events, weddings, anything you can think of, uh, DJs has a food truck or you can do standard catering too, yep. correct? correct? And we can yes. do in-house catering. We have plenty of that too. And in-house catering. Yeah. So that's good. Like board meetings, for instance. Yes. Yeah. We've done that. Yeah. I just used some of your dressing last night for my, I did like a, the vinaigrette. a roasted, a I did a roasted um, veggie yeah. meal prep. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can You're call probably, DJs for your meal prep. <laughs> I know, that's true. Um, but you do a great job and I know that you're doing a great job over at DJ's Barbecue and Thank we you. look forward to seeing, uh, you know, you guys out in the community even yeah. more than you have been. And thanks for coming on today. We appreciate it. Like, yes. yeah, we're looking forward to uh, spreading those, uh, Flying pig wings, so to say. <laughs> uh, I say that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so yes, much, Matt. Thanks for having us. Thank you Thank for having you. us. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Southwestern PA podcast. And coming up, we have our golf outing coming this June. It's a big fundraiser for us. So June 28th, Moon Golf Club. You don't have to be a member to join in. Make sure you get over to DJ's Barbecue either for your event or in-house, or spin that birthday wheel. Thanks so much to Ashley and Nick for coming on today, and we thank you, and watch our next episode soon of the Southwestern PA Business Podcast. Mm -hmm.